hi, it's Daisy. This is just another quick update for Thrive. Um, it is Thursday the 18th today and um, I'm going to quickly talk about some of the previous interventions I've had before Thrive. I've had CBT before, quite a few rounds of it, which is Cognitive Behavioural Therapy, um, which is a talking therapy that's supposed to help you manage your problems by um, like changing behaviours. But I... Um, I never found it helpful, I didn't want to manage my problem, I wanted to get rid of it, so I, I kind of never really like understood it, why would I want to manage it, why can't I just get rid of it, and the therapists or the nurses I had doing it with me were never really under the impression that I would get better, they just sort of wanted me to maintain the level of illness that I had. Um, I've also had CRT, which was a really fun therapy, like I, it was an enjoyable therapy to do, it was called Cognitive Remediation Therapy, which is exploring different strategies which can lead to behavioural changes. So it was like playing brain games, um, and it's supposed to change your neural pathways. And I found it um, fun, but it, it wasn't helpful in that I couldn't actually apply it to myself. I just sort of enjoyed doing the exercises but I never took it on a very deep level I used to take it really on face value so I didn't gel with it very well um and then I have also had quite a lot of exposure therapy and I've had different levels ranging from looking at videos and pictures uh cartoons and real life videos to flooding which is where they um get you to do things that are really really intensely involved in your phobia or OCD or whatever so like I had to do quite a lot of work in bathrooms and I would have to touch things in the bathroom or uh, one of my therapists made me put my clothes on the floor and then put them back on <laughs> like it, that's just for me like that's just doesn't make sense because one it's not addressing anything that the phobia is actually about uh, it's not talking about your self-esteem or your locus of control or any of that. It's just focusing just exactly on the fear or the, the stimulus for the fear. And um, I just, I found it stupid because what normal person wants to roll around a dirty bathroom floor? And who wants to go and have lunch with dirty hands? Like, you're allowed to wash your hands before you eat. And I got told that I wasn't allowed to. And there was all this... It, it was just, oh, it, it didn't make sense to me as well because I didn't get why I should do that when other people thought it was weird as well, or like disgusting. And then it made me feel bad because I was doing these disgusting things and then people were viewing me as disgusting, blah, blah, blah. It all spiralled out of control and I, I didn't find any of that helpful whatsoever. Um, apart from it proved to me that my fear wasn't actually vomit itself because the pictures were fine. Nothing happened when I looked at them. Um, and although, like, I had some positive experiences in that, like, I liked a few of my therapists and I got along with them and I did find some of the OCD-specific work regarding numbers and exercise quite helpful when I was in the hospital. That was probably because I was in a different mindset because I had started Thrive. Thrive is different because it gives you this psychological knowledge that you don't get with other therapies. I had a therapist that didn't actually know what a locus of control was and that kind of freaked me out. Like I was being told all this stuff by a person who didn't know one of the main, you know, groundings for life. And um, yeah, Thrive makes you see all parts of you, like the good and the bad. And it's not beating yourself up you're not berating yourself throughout it you're just seeing what you need to improve on and what what needs tweaking in you to become a better you instead of looking at how awful you are and how negative things are with other therapies where a lot of it is based upon sort of um how what you shouldn't do what you shouldn't do this you can't do this and it's all very kind of makes you feel like you're being blamed for everything like why aren't you changing why can't you change your thinking should have changed by now whereas with Thrive it's sort of you know that you get to the end of the chapter it's like you haven't understood it go back and do it again instead of being you know the opposite like other therapies I've tried um 
yeah, so that's about it with the interventions. I've had a lot, so I might you know, talk about other ones again, but they're the three main ones that most people have heard of. Um, but today, actually, I had something really, really amazing happen, and for the first time since 2009, I rode a horse. Um, I've recently been working with horses, and I got to ride two of them today, and it was amazing, and I didn't have any negative thoughts about it. There was no <laughs> catastrophizing beforehand. I, did, I wasn't anxious, I wasn't nervous, I was just excited, and I had an amazing time, and it's really helped me see how much of a change I've made, because if I was told that I was going to get on a horse six months ago, I would have freaked out and thought something was going to go wrong and I would have hated it and it would have been awful and I'd be rubbish, everyone would judge me. Whereas now, I just had an amazing time. So that's good. I feel like there's a lot of change happening that's good. But I also had a few um, blips where I've been able to see how easy it is to spiral back into that OCD mindset. And um, I kind of let go of the control I'd had on my thoughts. And it was really scary to see myself suddenly sprouting these things that I, I didn't want to say and that was really scary but um, I've been able to control it and I'm back again like on the wagon and I just want to get refocused on thriving but yeah that's basically what I've been doing for the moment thank you for watching my rather long video um, I'll update you again soon bye